Before we talk about the command line interface or CLI and the graphical user interface or GUI, sometimes called GUI, let us first define what an interface means. Let's Google it. A quick and simple definition is that it is a point where two systems, subjects, organizations, etc. meet and interact. Or another definition is that it is a device or program enabling a user to communicate with a computer. That means when we use a Mac computer, this is the interface that we see. We can use the keyboard or mouse to give it a command and see the result on the screen. On the other hand, if we have a Windows computer with, let's say, Windows 8, this is the interface that we will see to start interacting with it. We can then use the keyboard to type letters, numbers, characters, and we can use the mouse to point and click on apps, icons, links, and buttons. There are other computers with a different operating system and therefore will have a different look and feel on the interface. For example, a computer with Linux operating system will have an interface that looks like this. So, the user interface is the primary space where the user and the computer interact. Just imagine your computer's monitor being broke, not working at all, but your computer itself is just working fine. That means you can hear it working, but you cannot see it. And even if you click, type, and try to communicate to it, it is pointless. You are blind without the user interface. And of course, you are blind without a working display device. So what is a command line interface? In the 1980s, the company IBM, or International Business Machines Corporation, which manufactures and markets computer hardware and software, produced computers with this operating system, or DOS. DOS was the first widely used operating system between the 80s and the 90s. To communicate with a computer with DOS, an example of a command line interface, the user types in commands. So to be proficient in computer with DOS as an operating system, the user has to memorize the commands to communicate. But who can do that, right? This is one of the reasons why GUI, or graphical user interface, easily dominated command line interface in the 90s. Let's watch this video real quick. In GUI, or graphical user interface, the user can then point and click on the screen with a mouse or a gesture. Without it, touchscreen devices will not be possible today. GUI is more colorful, interactive, and enjoyable to work at. Users can watch videos on YouTube or listen to music on Pandora, create drawings or edit pictures on websites like Flickr. And users can customize the desktop with so much ease. With a few clicks, you will be able to change your desktop screen in no time. So, now that you understand the difference between the command line interface or CLI and the graphical user interface or GUI, you are now ready to move on to the next video.